Okay, another quick video on the uh, Android head unit. I'm going to show you a quick video here on the uh, Android Auto and CarPlay integration. Okay, the normal way of doing it is to fit this little white dongle box here into one of the USB ports. Uh, currently, I have my uh, Android phone ready to connect. Sorry about all the reflections here, it's a bit sunny today. Um, we got a blank screen up, so let's uh, connect and see what we get. Okay, let's connect the Android phone up and see what we get. Plug it in, open the phone. Within a few seconds, the app recognises the, the phone's there, auto starts up, and loads the uh, Android Auto straight on. Straight to music player, and here we go. Now, that there are no, there is no way to alter the screen resolution in Android Auto on this uh, application. And here's the problem. I now go to the uh, music settings button and it changes the track. The, resolu the resolution in the app is not as good as what it should be so basically it's putting the button in the wrong place on the screen. Okay. But apart from that, it does work, it is there, it comes with a box, well it comes with the software that comes with the box, um, it plays like that. Let's have a quick play with CarPlay which is much better. Okay, I've changed over to the white cable for the iPhone, plug it in, don't even have to open the phone up, <laughs> excuse my picture, and it starts up with CarPlay straight away. Recognises a phone straight away as an Apple and here we go straight into CarPlay mode. Full screen resolution. Everything works straight off the bat. We can either choose music, I mean whichever is playing, you could have nat native music player already but if we press now playing it goes straight into the music. And there we go. Oops, press the wrong button, here we go, home button down the bottom there, that's Siri, try again, home button down the bottom there, CarPlay now supports Google Maps, also supports Waze as well, and its own uh, Apple Maps, you got access to your phone calls, access to your messages, and there are a whole bunch of other apps that can go on here as well. Spotify, I believe, works on here as well. There's quite a few. But on the whole, that is very nice. It is very much, you can see, your touch screen is right spot on, right to the very edges of where it needs to be. So it is definitely working properly in CarPlay mode. That is a really good app. and the buttons on the steering wheel work just as well as well. Okay, the Android cable is now plugged in back into the, uh, the other USB port. Got my cable, got my phone, plug it in, open my phone, and away we go. Android Auto. You have it full screen, which I prefer to see myself, but it's your choice. Play music, and away you go. Stern wheel buttons work. Okay, as an alternative to uh, Android Auto or um, Apple CarPlay, of course, you have the built in Bluetooth. There we go. 
comes up looking like the old style BMW screen go to settings yeah actually those are connected currently because I've just connected to it it would say ready there you would pair it with your phone there's the device name there's your pin code number which for some reason I didn't need to put in and then it's connected okay so you've got uh, obviously you can dial a number you've got your call list you've got your phone list which goes straight to your um, your uh, contacts list in your phone and then we've got Bluetooth music will it connect again and here we go straight into what's playing on the whichever music device you've got on your phone at the time and again you've still got your steering wheel controls as well through that so that's another option if you don't want to do it that way um, it is a little quieter though don't know why it's that bit quieter but uh, it does work and it's quite good um, you've got limited information as to what's actually on the screen um, let's see if we can get it to work on uh, Spotify as well so there's my uh, current uh, one I'm playing there we go that's the one I'm playing so we'll go out of Apple Music go on to Spotify press play shuffle or whatever comes up at the time and here we go we swapped over so it plays Spotify, it plays Apple Music. Let's try another one. So we can get Amazon Music. Oh, it's come up on the screen. Let's have a look so we can play. Play a bit of George Ezra. And there we go, shotgun. So it plays Apple Music, it plays uh, Amazon Prime. It plays uh, Spotify. If I get copyright, so yeah, we'll look, right. So what else have we got on here? I know I have got something else on here, and we have Google Play. Let's see what we got. Let's throw some random stuff on. Play the first one on there, and there we go as well. So that's compatible with everything on the on your phone as normal. So uh, that's another option if you don't want to pay out. I mean that little box there, that is about thirty pound give or take here in the UK. Um, yeah, it's worth it. It's it's worth certainly worth it for CarPlay. That is a very nice application on on the screen. Um, the Android Auto side of it with my own phone will. And the auto side of it with my own phone doesn't really uh, look that good on the screen. But the additional app, um, which is a standalone one, the actual real one from from the Google Play Store does not work on this head unit. But uh, I've loaded uh, Head Unit Reloaded, which simulates Android Auto. And that's the one that was shown earlier. And it is absolutely spot on. It's perfect. So, uh, choice at the end of the day is yours, depending also what platform you want anyway. Thank you.